Thank you, doctor. This is a tale of a black man's journey to meeting the most intelligent girl in the People's Republic of China. This black man thinks she is the future of China, but how can this be true? And, and um, what you're about to watch now is very detailed. Once upon a time, there lived a black man in China. His name is George. What? Why do I sound like I'm narrating a sad story? All right, let's start again. George lives and works in China as a content creator. After graduating from China, with no friends to celebrate with him except his classmates. Now don't ask why no friends were there. They all ran away from China because of COVID and now they cannot come back anymore. Poor George. So George decided to make friends with the locals and that's when he found out about this girl. It was time for him to embark on a journey to finding this girl and it was a long, long trip. With all the bad news about Chinese people eating black people, I can't remember where I heard that story from again. Josh took the risk and traveled with his newfound friends to a village called Tiankang. <laughs> now at this dung if you're watching this video right now and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so because uh, I think it helps the channel grow. Here is a beautiful princess and this is why I think she's the most intelligent girl in China. Note, this is my opinion because I've never met a girl like her before.
Okay. Uh, uh, I'm strong. Uh, yeah. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> now, this is what she did that was so remarkable. I have never seen a girl know so much about the medical field at such a young age. God knows at her age, I couldn't even differentiate a Catholic priest from a doctor. Episode 9 and 13 also shares part of my two months experience staying in the village. I hope you check them out. Now let's talk about present day 2021 because this happened in 2020. Today my routine as a foreign expat in China is more of like this. I wake up, do my laundry sometimes, walk to the streets as parents are taking their kids to school. I buy my favorite breakfast of course is the Baozi, which I eat along the way as I get to work. It's always very tedious. I come back late at night and the same almost repeats the next day. This is my life as a black man in China. Hello everyone. So right now I'm about to cut my hair. This is the person that will cut my hair. Hello. Yeah. Pichu Fei Hao. Okay, so he's very, very expert. So let's see how he's gonna do, all right? So you see the results after. In three, two, one. Done. And I think I look good. I look amazing. So everything is all there. So would you compare this to having it with a, a foreigner like you? I think not. So it depends. So any city you go to, always try to find um, someone that can do it. Actually, I was the first foreigner. But she is the ignorant, why go ahead and eat it? Hey, let me eat it. Oh, I did. Ah, okay. So before he's already given someone, a black person, a haircut, but he's very good right now with me. So if you come to Hangzhou City, you come here to come and have your your haircuts, okay? So that is it. Uh, if you want to know the location, you might have to text me on Instagram. I tell you where it is, so you come here to have your haircuts if you're a black person. So yeah.